Bridges gone, culverts washed away. People in Western North Carolina cannot cross creeks in front of their own homes. That's why a group is formed, Lansing's Bridge to Recovery. It's a nonprofit that started immediately after Helene. They have already completed about 40 projects and have a list of well over 100 to get through. Fox 8's Sarah Winkleman went around with their crews today to take a closer look at their work. It's really a team effort in the recovery efforts in Ash County. Everybody is taking a piece of the puzzle and this specific group. They are all about bridges, culverts and connecting people to the places that they need to go. This is one of the projects they're working on today. You can see this area right here used to be a driveway right now. There's enough space to maybe walk across it, but there's no way you can safely fit a car across this and there's about three to four homes up this way on the driveway. So very important to get this back up and running. And that's what those crews are out here doing today. I want to just show you though this creek right here. Obviously you can see how low it is. The water's not moving too fast, but at some point in this area, the water was a lot higher and moving a lot quicker because as you can see, this huge culvert right here was actually one that washed all the way from somewhere upstream. They're not even really sure exactly where it came from. So this just shows you how powerful this storm is. We've seen these big culverts, these big washaways all over the road in Ash County. So there is a lot of work to do, but these temporary fixes, these small little things to make sure people can get out of their homes and get to resources is really beneficial. In Ash County, I'm Sarah Winkleman.